Okay, um, if you guys haven't noticed, coffee is the lifeblood of the newsroom. So if you're not a coffee drinker, that's fine. You don't have to be a coffee drinker working in a newsroom. But there are a lot of coffee drinkers that do work in newsrooms. So if you hear any little beeps or boops here, uh, I'm also texting with Sean McFarland. Most of you guys know him very well. Um, just to make sure, uh, paper tomorrow or not a paper tomorrow, see how it goes. So our next our next step here, and I kind of changed my mind about um, the Eagles shirt story here. So we're actually gonna we are gonna jump that one on the inside because we might need the help with it. So we're just gonna put a jump line on there. Put this down. Name it shirts. Oops. Make sure you put that R in there for shirts. Okay. So we have these four stories. I'm going to jump them on to the inside here. So we have our ads already are on here. Um, we're going to go over ads and that kind of thing a little bit more um, in person uh, when we get there for jumps. But usually your front page will have ads on the jump page, the corresponding jump page. Most of the time, your jump page will not be like the second page of the section. It'll be like the either the back page or the third page of the section for a variety of reasons, mostly because those are the higher traffic pages of a section or the first, third, and last page. Those tend to be the most trafficked pages. There's reasons around that. I will explain it a little bit later, but since you're just watching the video, talk about it later. So first things first, we want to treat the jump page similar to how we treat the um, main page. There is one exception, and that's headline dominance, um, but we'll get there in just a second. So first things first, I'm going to go to my jump page. I'm going to make sure everything is good up at the top of my jump page. So in, in this case, this is fine. Your pages won't look like that. But this will. we have to change this to – when you get to a real paper, these will look different. They always do. Um, just make sure it says sports and B2 up here because it's a – you know, for our – practice purposes that's what it is so we have our four we have our four ads down here and the general rule of thumb about ads and i was going to say this in class but i will say it here is don't touch ads whatever you do don't touch ads don't move them don't reshape them don't restack them don't do anything with them ads are there to help pay your paycheck so don't mess around with them don't monkey around with them just leave them as they are. There's ways to work around ads to make them help you, but really don't touch ads. It's a really giant, giant, giant no-no. Don't touch them. Don't, don't, don't. So we have to work with them, though. So we notice that there's this kind of weird jump here, how this is going to end higher than this. So that's kind of a signal to us that we have to, we call it, uh, squaring off your ads. So what that means is we're going to have a jump of our stories from the front that's probably going to be two columns and maybe another one on top of it that's two columns, which gives which will help square this off. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a little bit. Um, the other thing is we have four jumps that we have to get on here. So what I did was, and this is kind of off screen here again, I drew myself up a little plan. So I got a little plan here of what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk you through the little plan. So a couple of things we got to do first. We have to have, even though it's a jumps page, we still need a dominant headline, a dominant photo, and then all those jumps. So what we're going to do to do this is we're going to put a dominant story right here in the upper left-hand corner. It's three-column spot because we have one that we still can use. Then we're going to put a jump underneath, a jump underneath, a jump in this two-column spot, a jump in this two-column spot. All right, so you can kind of imagine that in your head right here. So first things first, we're going to get our page set up so we can just do what we got to do and we don't have to monkey around with anything else. So I don't know why I keep saying monkey around with. I, mean, I just saw a thing um, on Jane Goodall when uh, John Oliver interviewed her. I saw it on YouTube maybe a couple days ago. Maybe that's stuck in my head for some reason. Anyway, so we take the um, – we go over here and we grabbed our guideline. Let's do it again here just to show you. 
So we're going to cut into the bigger side of our page. It's going to be this three column side. So we line it up there and do our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or however you want to do it. So now we know that this blue guide is where our stuff can go on the left side, and the purple guide is where our stuff can go on the right side. And we're going to put a rule down the middle. Let's just put a rule on there now so we don't have to think about it as much. Now, some papers do this a little differently, but uh, don't you don't want to draw your rule all the way down to the side because remember, we don't want to mess around with the ads. So draw just above. All right. And if you need a guideline, just go down to the top. You can put a guideline on there because that won't show up. And then shift up, up. Make sure that our guideline lines up on it. And we're actually going to do that for this one too because then it's going to help us guide us later. So shift up, up. So now in these three columns, don't go below this green guideline. And in these two columns, don't go below this green line because we don't mess with ads. Don't mess with them. Don't do it. So that's what our jump page is going to kind of look like. All right. See how we have our two column spots here where we can put stuff. We've got three column spots. But first, we got to get a headline. We got to get a story package on here first. So. I think we're going to take our regular news headline. That's going to be way too big, of course, but it's just going to be, we're going to get it on there to start. So we kind of know what we're going to be looking at. Then we're going to grab a copy and paste a photo box, which has a photo that we're going to change out. What we actually might do is we might make this a three. Now watch this. I know I'm moving stuff around here. I'm moving all with a black arrow. Just follow along for a second. Put that up there. Now it's behind the headlines behind there, so we're just going to move this up like this. So we'll do photo headline story. And what I forget, cut line. So let's copy that here. Even even a jump line one needs a cut line on it, so we line it up. Shift down one just to get our spacing. Line up our headline, shift down one just to get our spacing. Okay, and then let's make this like, I don't know, like 65 just to get us uh, closer to where we want to be. Okay, so now we should have one more, or we got to get our byline before we start messing around too much. Byline on there. We don't need a jump line for this one, of course. So let me show you a little trick that I do to make sure my spacing is correct around bylines. So let's use our guidelines that'll probably help us out. So I'm gonna draw a one column text box underneath this. Then to the right of it, I'm gonna draw a two column text box that lines up with everything. Click on this, make sure it's two columns. So you see how this is gonna run around the headline now, or the byline, excuse me. So it's gonna go whoop, and you don't have to worry about like the like the text wrapping and all that kind of stuff. So okay, so we have our next story package like kind of in place here. How do we or what's go? How do we kind of fill this out? Well, we should in our folder if we close this one have an extra story or two to help fill it out. So we're between the fans going crazy and the linemen. Excuse me. So I'm going to go with the fan story instead of the lineman one. So just because eh, I just kind of feel like going that way. So what we're going to do is before we even grab the text, we're going to get our photo done. We're going to get all our other stuff done. And then we get to drop the text in. And that's our last step. So first things first, let's get our photo done. because that's going to be the most important thing. So you saw I went and picked my white arrow, and I go in there and I select it, and that's what the photo size is, but we don't want that photo. So all we do is hit the delete button. And we still have our photo box, we just don't have a photo in it now. So let's go back over here and let's pick our photo out. Fans one, eh, that guy looks pretty crazy. Eh, that's not anything, no, that's not bad. Mm, I think we might have a winner there though. This is a very, this is like the, uh, uh, a very famous building in Philadelphia. It's Benjamin Franklin up at the top of it, I think. 
Or no, it's William Penn. Sorry, it's William Penn. I don't know. I think it's William Penn. I might have to look it up. But anyway, you know, Philly fans going crazy. Number one. Good. So that's the photo I'm going to use. So hit the download button. Make sure it's in my scroll materials folder. Hit save. Okay, so let's go back to InDesign. Black arrow. I'm going to hit Control D to place it, or you can go File Place. Cool. Looks good. Um, in case you missed one there, I clicked on it with the blue or the my black arrow, and then if you double click, it automatically will switch to the white arrow for you. But just be careful with that one. So just make sure you got it, and then white arrow, and make sure make sure you select it with that. Go up to fill proportionally. Pretty good. I want that building in the back. You see how it cuts this building off? So I'm going to hold down this as it's in this yellow border. I'm going to hold the shift button down and hit the down button so it moves the photo itself. And adjust just a little bit more because I want that building in there because that building is kind of a really cool image because it says it's Philadelphia. So I think that's pretty good. I think we're looking pretty good. So photo is set. Good size photo. Photo is set. We're not going to put any other photos on this page because we're going to have jumps all around it. And we have these ads at the bottom, which kind of, in the designer's mind, kind of act like kind of visual things anyway. So next thing, cut line or the credit line looks good. Let's go down and make sure our cut line is done. So let's see. We know it's going to be on Sunday. You know, the Eagles are going to win over the Patriots. So let's see. Uh, What do we say? Just get rid of this part. Philadelphia Eagle fans celebrate their teams. Because they didn't win the game. Win over the New England Patriots. Super Bowl on Sunday, blah, blah, blah. You see how we have this little thing hanging here, and it's going to leave this whole big line of space. If you can, try and get that all in one line. So let's say, Oh, we just say Philadelphia fans celebrate their team's win over the New England Patriots, blah, blah, blah. I think that's good. So next thing we have to do is we have to move this up a little bit here. Oops, wrong arrow. Okay. So saw how that, I kind of did that there. I had the yellow, I had the white arrow. So, okay. So let's redo this all. See, there we go. Okay, so I clicked on this and it wasn't working. So I went to my white arrow and I clicked on this and it was giving me like all these weird things. Now you can't freak out. Don't freak out. Just go back here and get your black arrow. And most of the time, the black arrow solves everything. So we're going to move this up. Black arrow saved us there. So now we're going to move our headline up just a little bit just to compensate for that missing space. Shift down arrow. And these little Ys, they hang over a little bit. So we're going to make our box a little bit bigger there just to give us a little room to work with. All right. Adjust our byline. Adjust our text box. Adjust our text box. All right. Looking good. Oops. Wrong button there. I want that zero. Make sure it looks good. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Well. There's an argument to be made that maybe we should shift this over to the other side, but we'll talk about that when we talk about photos a little bit and directional photos and that kind of thing. So, so in our headline before we do anything. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let's get our box size adjusted. Now, Philly fans freak out. This is a little bit too low, I think. No, uh -huh, it's pretty good. Okay, my mistake. Okay, so I like that headline, but I kind of need the subhead on it. So we're gonna we're gonna compensate by putting on three columns beneath it. So we're just moving this stuff out of the way. We're gonna move it back in just a little bit. Let's draw ourselves a text box. Let's say uh, Eagles first Super Bowl win ever since uh, uh, leads to crazy celebrations. 
Okay, so now we have to get that formatted properly. So we take our, you saw what I did. Sorry, let me just back up again. Sorry, I'm getting fast because we're starting to get it. Okay, so there, I wrote my headline. Then I A to select it all. Now I have to go find the proper subhead for that. In this case is the italic one. So hit the little thing there. All right, so you see how it switched. All right, I'll click back in it, control A to select it all, and let's make sure it fits. Um, let's see, Eagles first Super Bowl win. Okay, so now it almost fits again, so I'm going to adjust our point size up one point, so we're at 22 points now. And get it to fit. So now let's take a look from above. Looks pretty good. Come back in here. Let's adjust our text boxes again. Shifting down, shifting directional down, shift directional down. Make this a little bit bigger. Now, right now, I'm just eyeballing the size of these text boxes. I'm not exactly sure, but I know we're going to put a jump here, and that's probably about the size of the jump. It's just an educated guess, and you'll kind of start picking that up as we go along. But now, we're ready to go. Photo. Cut line, headline, subhead, bylines on there just needs to be refilled out, and we don't need a jump line. So let's go and find that story in our folder. Okay, copy that. And okay, now that the formatting on it should be incorrect, which is fine. Click in there, control A to select it all, back to the eyedropper tool. Go back up, find the correct one. All set. Okay. Delete that. We don't need that. Let's get our byline done. Now, this is a good example of a byline that's going to give us some trouble. So, Dave Zeitlin. I use the ampersand. We're going to use the ampersand. Kristen D. Groot. I am grouped. Okay, so you see how Kristen's broken up over two lines. Can't leave it like that. This is the tedious kind of stuff you run into when you do design. So what you got to do is you go up there, give her a little enter, and it just makes it, we call it a double byline, obviously, double. So you just move her down to it so she has her own line so her name isn't broken up. You know, that's just what you got to do, and you got to adjust your text box accordingly. That's how it goes. Sorry. <laughs> I wish I had a better answer for it, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Get rid of the AP. Looking good. Adjust our height just a touch. Grab our, so now we have this set. So now we grab our red arrow here, our red plus sign, sorry, with our black arrow and move it to our next thing. And in this case, we got lucky because it breaks right on a, breaks right on a paragraph break, which is where we want to happen. So the one thing is you see this little extra white space here. And this is just like, again, it's just the OCD in me. And it's part partially from just doing this in years past. You want that all to line up. Now it looks like there's a little extra white space underneath the byline. So we got to kind of rock this back and forth here a little bit. What I mean by rocking back and forth is we got to pull that back up and see how it adjusted everything. Now we have an extra line here. We have to go in, we have control A, and we do all, we go up here and say, oh, it's on 20. Little, this thing says VA next to it. That's the uh, letting between the letters. It really makes Brewer angry when we have to do this kind of stuff. He's just reminding you that you don't want to go much higher than one click either way on this. So click it once and see what happens. Okay, so we're on 30. Let's see what it looks like on 10. Okay, so we kind of need, let's, we're going to have to adjust a little bit here. So let's leave it on 10 for now and then adjust. And see what the end of this quote looks like. Let's pull this down a little bit. Oh, still not moving for us. It's okay. 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 
So let's see. So if we go, hmm, let's, take, let's see if we can get the rest of that quote on there. Find there the quote ends up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you see how that worked? We got, we moved stuff around a little bit, and made it work, and now we're close because now we only have to get rid of one line. So we do the same thing. We select it all again. Back in here, and then it was a ten. Let's try it on twenty now. Oh, too much. Okay. So let's see. I'm just gonna, I just gotta click on one. Click on a couple. Of okay. So this paragraph is an interesting paragraph because it, you see how close it is to the end of the line there? That's the one we want. We want to adjust just this paragraph. And I'll show you why in just a second. So we, we want to bump this line off. So we select just this paragraph and we bump that up to a 20. And you see how it breaks pandemonium over the line? That's totally fine. And it bumps our line down there. That's one that will... That's something you kind of just have to use the program a lot and see how it works. And we'll talk about this more and more as we go through. But that's pretty much what you got to do right there. So now you're all set. Photo, or photo, cut line, headline, subhead, story, all set. Good to go. So let's pull a guideline down and line up on the bottom of this. And we're going to move it down, shift, down arrow twice. So now you can see the box that you're working in for one of your jump heads or one of your jump stories. Okay. And we're going to do that first. We're going to square this page off first. We're going to, and this is where the square off comes into play. Excuse me. We're going to put a story here or a jump of one of our front page stories to just fill out the rest of these three columns. So how do we do that? Um, okay. We need a jump. Jump head. Where'd my jump heads go? Did I not make jump heads? No, no, I did. Okay. Jump heads are subhead two. Sorry. We'll go over this a little bit more when we do jump heads uh, in person. But anytime you need a jump head, take subhead line two, copy and paste it. Subhead line two will go right here. And then pull it the whole way across. Now, jump heads you treat just like regular heads, except they have to start with whatever you decided over here. Okay, so we start with Eagles win. So Eagles win Super Bowl. We're going to select it all, and we're going to make it a negative 10 because it's going to make it fit. You can do the, again, you can do as long as it's 10, as long as it's one click either way and it makes it fit, you're good to go. So then we go down here, or we go back up here. And now this, instead of a jump head, or instead of a jump line, instead of a jump line, that's this thing. We take a from line because it says from on it. So let's copy and paste it and move it to the next page. So then we put it up here. So, and if you open up the regular paper, you'll see these all over the place, the from lines. I mean, whenever they jump a story. Jumping stories is something you're probably not going to do as much anymore because you just don't jump stories as much as you used to. But the ideas are still the same. Uh, we line it up on our jump head there, and we hit Shift and then the Down button to give us a little bit of space. Now, in this case, we don't have to worry about a photo. Photo. We don't have to worry about a cut line. We don't have to because we're only jumping the story, so we're only going to have text here. So we draw our text box up to the bottom, and this is set to have a text wrap around it, so you don't have to worry about that. And we draw another two-column text box next to it. Black arrow. Make it two columns up here. Okay, good. Now we go back up to this story. It's the red plus sign here. On the red plus sign, and then take your time. It's not a race. To get it back over here and click right here. And then that will automatically make sure that this text on the front page, oh, let me just zoom out here. This, where this text ends is where this text begins automatically does it for you. We don't copy and paste after we get it on the page. We use the red box, the red plus sign, okay? So then a red plus sign again, put it right there, and it fits. Great. Now the one issue we have is that it, it kind of over, it goes over the size that we need. So we're going to hit the red plus sign one more time, and we're actually going to jump it right here so we can see how much space we have to make up. So we have to make up two lines worth of space. So that's okay. We can do that. 
So we're going to go into our jump box here, and we're going to hit Control A. And this is Brewer the Beagle reminding you, don't go more than one either way on this. We're making a 10 to see what happens. Okay, good. Now we only need one line. And I have a feeling this paragraph is going to do it for us. You see how I selected that one paragraph? Just a triple click to select the one paragraph. You get a 20. And that didn't do it. So we can't do that one. So try this paragraph. I'll make that a 20. Ah, I did it. So you see how we end on a paragraph break now? We lose a quote, but that's okay. It's a, it's a wire stories can always be taken care of. And we're going to actually delete this box, which should bring back our red arrow over here, which is totally fine. So if we hit our W button, you see how it ends? And this headline acts as a natural break for this story above it. Sorry, just drinking some coffee. All right, so I know that was a little quick. We're going to do a, three more of them over here. But you can kind of see how this is going to start coming together. So, all right, let's watch again. So I need to jump these other three stories here. And maybe we'll put a photo with one of them. We'll see how we have for space. So first things first, let's get our jump head done. So this is our jump head. Just copy and pasted that. I'm going to put it up here. Go back up here, and we see, okay, we have to lead with holes. That's what we said on our front page. So it's easy for our readers to find what we're looking for. So I'll say, holes leads birds to title. Let's make them capital B birds. Okay. So... Oh, one other thing I didn't point out about jump heads is you don't, uh, I, can, I guess you can mess around with the point size. You try not to mess around with the point size. It's set at 50 and you want to leave it at 50 uh, as opposed to other headlines where you want to adjust them. So we're just going to leave leave this little extra white space here so we don't mess around with it too much. But just it, It'll be fine. Trust me. I've done this before. So we go up, we grab our from line. We start from line on the page. Control C, Control V. Line it up. Shift down one. This is from page one. So perfect. Now let's draw our text boxes around it to make it work. So one column box. One column box. Okay. Come out just to make our lives a little bit easier. Go here. And now I've done this a million times before. You might need to zoom back in. You can click on the plus sign from here, as long as you click on the plus sign. So I click on the plus sign, drop it there, sign, drop it there. Oh, is that a little bit? All right, let's zoom in and see what we got. So what we're going to do on this, in this case, actually, is we're going to pull these up a little bit. And let's see. Okay. Hmm, so we have to get rid of this one line. So we're going to pull this up a little bit, and I think it should still f not move. There we go. Okay, so good. So that's our that's our Nick Foles jump to start. Okay, so next one we need another. We're going to jump our uh, Patriot uh, coordinators story. So let's copy and paste our jump line, our jump head. Now, first thing we have to do is we have to get our spacing done right. So we're going to do one, two, because this headline is going to act as a natural kind of break. And now that we think about it, we're like, oh, we messed up on this page. Because we, we really have a natural break here with this headline, but we had this extra rule in. So how do we go back and fix that? That's fine. Let's go back and fix it. Delete that. And let's go one, two, and pull this down. So there you go. So then our headline acts as a natural break. See what I mean? You don't need this rule because now you have a natural break on your headline. So 
that's kind of up to you as the designer. Like, I'm going to leave mine there. I hit Control Z just to back it up to that step. I'm going to actually probably just edit all this out. So, okay. So, anyway, we're back to our um, stuff here. We're going to add. Uh, Okay, so let's move on to the next jump. So we go one, two. Oh, sorry. So we're going to move on to our next jump. So let's get our spacing done. So we bring down a guideline. Shift, one, two. And then we're going to copy and paste our jump head. Line it up on that. One, two. And draw our rule across. Just take a look to make sure it makes sense. Looks good to me. So we're going to jump uh, the Patriots coaches story for. So Pat's coaches is what we decided to put there. Pat's coaches. A. Eve team. Okay, and then we go back to this and we'll make it a zero. And make it a negative. Okay, so it's, that's fighting us now. So it's like coaches, A, Eve team. Mm, we kind of went over our quota there. Let's see, coaches. Twenty, little squished. All right, we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna make that forty-eight. All right, so we cheated a little bit. Two point size, uh, two points of size doesn't make a huge difference, but you know, just so you can keep that in mind, it's a, it's an option you have. So let's copy and paste our from line. Shift down arrow, down arrow, or down arrow once. Draw our text boxes. Text box, text box, good. Black arrow, and zoom out. Oh, wrong button, zoom out. So then we click on our plus sign, drop it. Drop it like it's sign, oops. See, I misfired there, I clicked on the wrong thing. And make sure it's in the box. All right, so now just like we did on this Eagle Soup Win Super Bowl story, we're going to see what we're working with on our text that's over. So we're only off by one line. Or maybe three lines, because maybe we want to include this other paragraph here. So let's pull this down just a touch. Pull this down just a touch. And let's see if we can find a... Let's try this and make this a 10 and see how it's, it's cinched that one column or one paragraph up. Give us our line that we needed for that. So there we go. All done with that one. Okay, so now we draw another guideline down. Make sure it's selected. Shift down, down. Okay. Copy and paste our jump line, or jump headline, sorry. That's where it's going to go. And I see we only have a little bit of space, so we really want this to be one deck. So what's our story up here? What do we have to include? Shirts. Shirts from... Shirts for winners. Okay. Um, shirts are ready. There we go. So we made that one deck. So you have to copy and paste our from line. Hit once. Let's draw our text boxes. Remember, this is our guideline right here for this ad stack. So we draw one text box there, one text box there. Go back to our black arrow. Whenever you're in trouble, go back to your black arrow. Whenever you're in trouble, go back to the black arrow. The black arrow is so important. So we go up here, red plus sign. Drop that there. Red plus sign, drop that there. Okay, we're over again. So we hit the red plus sign one more time. We drop it off to the side. We're only off by one line. 
So let's see if we can make this paragraph help us out. Select it, go up to this one right here. Perfect. Let me get rid of that. Hit the W button, zoom out. There's your jump page. So there you go. That's the whole smash. We have four story front. We have a uh, lead photo and a lead headline on our jump page. We have four jumps. And you notice how everything is, it fits in a square or a rectangle. Oops, we did forget one thing. We got our rule here. So let's get in there and get that done. And actually, to be honest with you, we don't really need this rule either. So let's actually, instead of making life harder for ourselves, delete that. Select all this, move it up to there. And we can, what we can do is move this guideline up. Oh, let's go. Okay, so then we move the whole thing up here. And now we have some more room to fill. So all we got to do is just fill it with a story. That's fine. Like that. Now we're done. So there you go. I know it seems a little daunting, a little overwhelming at times, but it's you'll get it as you keep doing it. So I, I would suggest you know watching this video, watching the previous videos again if you're still struggling, and go to the book. The book has great examples of why this stuff is the way it is and how this stuff works. I'm just showing you more how to hit the buttons and what buttons to hit and what orders to put things in because it'll make your life easier. So, you know, like in this case, I would probably change this to MVP folds. And dump, dump that a point or two. Yeah, 47 is fine. You know, fill that out, maybe put a the there. You know, something like that. You know, those are the kind of corrections you make after the fact. Like this should be something like that. You know, posture, eh, maybe not. But, you know, those are like the little things you'll think about once you get it done. But that's it. You're done. You're all set. That's a so that's a cover, a four pay, or a four story cover, and a four and a four jump one story jump page with a variety of ads on the bottom. Um, one final thing before you're done, always save your work. Control S, file save. And we're also going to export it. Control E or file export. And you want to export it as a PDF. And then name it um, you know, your name. Space, Super Bowl, cover, and jump. Something like that. So I know what it is. Save it into that workspace folder and hit save. It'll bring this up. Just hit export. It'll bring up a warning. Just hit OK. And there you go. And then you can look at it again. But looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I like it. All right. And then we'll, you might save those to various places, but that's how you do it. Save one more time, and then you're all done. All right, so now I'm going to get these uh, edited up, and then uh, you guys should be all set for the week. Stay warm. You know, make sure your cars are okay. Don't go on the roads if you don't have to. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Thanks.